So in wanting to start up making more videos online, I'm finding myself going, you know, oh, geez, you know, what, what kind of video do I make? What topic do I talk about? And um, going, you know, oh, like, a, I don't know how to sit in front of a camera and just talk, you know, because I've been watching my, uh, some of the YouTubers that I really like that uh, are really good at just basically sitting in front of a camera and just bleh, just start talking. And I, I just wonder, you know, how do they do it? How do they do it? And I found myself doing multiple takes before this one, uh, going, well, trying to start a video, then kind of not working, trying to start a video, not working, da da da. So I decided what I'm going to do. I said, fuck it. I'm good in a more conversational style and just working with that. So in this way, like I'm, I'm still getting the practice in, I'm still working towards uh, being able to speak, you know, through the practice of doing these videos. But uh, I've found my own way, I guess. So if you're looking to start up your own videos as well, one of the ways that you can do it is um, find your own way. And my my way that I found is I'm using a bit of uh, a bit of artificial intelligence to help me out here, ChatGPT, and I got it to ask me a couple questions. So I'll just be reading, doing this in more uh, Q&A format. That's where I find a bit of flow. It comes easier. So, uh, so basically just do what works for you and uh, just keep doing it until you can build up the skills. Done is better than perfect. <coughs> Anyways, first question. So by the way, this conversation is about um, finding gratitude in all aspects of life and the value of finding gratitude, even in the things that um, might be negative that you might perceive as like bad, right? So first question goes from ChatGPT. Can you share a personal experience where you initially perceived it as negative or challenging, but later realized it had a profound positive impact in your life? And how did that impact, uh, how did that experience shape your perspective on gratitude? So a personal experience that initially perceived as negative or challenging, but then later realized I had a profound impact on my life. So um, basically I spent a lot of years just living in my room in a dungeon, <laughs> basically uh, living under a rock. Uh, I was a very recluse man and I didn't really socialize much in prior years. So I'm 26 now and I didn't do a lot of the things that I guess um, that I seen my peers do that I guess quote unquote normal people were doing, which is, you know, going out with their friends and, you know, chatting and, you know, going out to see new places and experience new things. I was very much just in my room just not really doing much or experiencing much at all. And so, and this was only up until about what, three years ago. So about till the age of 23 or so where, um, I just really didn't do anything. Didn't go out with friends or didn't have those common experiences that a lot of people with that. I perceived other people as having, you know, like different milestones, um, of achieving, right socially and and all that so um so i spent a lot of my time just basically sitting in front of a computer day in and day out just uh playing games um browsing forums you know wanking to porn just not really doing much and not quote unquote living a life and so basically you know, I, I, for a while, I actually looked back at that and, um, just going to take this off for a while. I, I looked back at that and I was just like, man, I really wasted my life. I really wasted a lot of years, um, that I could have been, uh, exploring, you know, certain things I could have been doing, uh, making friends, or I could have been having, uh, different 
I guess, social experiences like uh, like my peers were having. I felt like I was really falling behind the curve, you know? And yeah, it, it felt just really basically shit. Like I've just wasted all those lives and now uh, wasted all those lives, wasted all those years uh, just sitting down and doing nothing. But and and so where it got me to to recently when I had to when I came out and kind of came out as a, a had a like a late start I guess in uh, showing up socially and all that uh, it it was like walking into a whole new world where everything was new and I guess th there was a bit of like that shame there that um, as I was stepping out of my shell there was you know, experiences and places and things that uh, people have done that are completely new to me. And I guess examples would be like, I don't know, um, you know, doing certain activities, you know, going out to certain places or hell, even, even like romantically, you know, just not having any, uh, you know, even, even sexual experiences or just romantic experiences or anything like that, just completely just, you know, fresh and new, just like, uh, man. And I felt just really, or, or like even just the uh, social practice of being a person amongst other people, it felt like I was just this complete alien, like a complete uh, person just out from under a rock. And when I was hanging around with the, you know, starting to hang around with people and socialize, there was all all sorts of little things that they would pick up on. I was like, oh, you've never done that before. You've never, never done that before. Never done that before. And I'm just like, nope, never did. And it really, I really felt like, you know, just I've been living under a rock for all these years and I just wasted uh, a lot of time. But honestly, looking back at it with a, a lens of gratitude really changed my perspective on uh, those quote unquote wasted years. I look back at them now and I am absolutely grateful that I went through all those experiences of basically living uh, under a rock for so so long, you know, kind of being detached from the uh, rest of, you know, society, if that makes, in a way. Um, it's, it allowed me time to get very introspective on myself. So I spent a lot of those years just like, um, you know, because there was nothing else to do, like except for play games and just wank. The, like I spent a lot of time uh, going online and, you know, researching all sorts of different things, you know, looking up, you know, history and looking up, um, you know, like geopolitics and looking up uh, philosophy and this and that. And, um, you know, looking into different thinkers and uh, different perspectives and all that. So it really gave me time to also like reflect upon myself of like, what, you know, do, what what's my view and take on the world? And so what is really cool is that I can look back at that now is in that and say like that was a lot of like a big study time for me that was a time of um that wasn't wasted it was time of introspection working out you know how I want to think how I want to view the world how I want to process things and it also gave me the perspective of, you know, like that foundation of wanting to explore things like psychology, wanting to explore, um, yeah, just how, I guess, people worked. But rather than actually being amongst them, I was kind of like looking at it through through the looking glass of, of the computer screen, of the computer screen. So. I, I learned a whole lot during that period of uh, being 
yeah, of being just like sequestered away in my room. So, uh, and, and also in that, like I managed to, to save up a bunch of money as well, which I'm also grateful. Like, cause you know, if, if I was just sitting in my room, just working from home, like there was nothing else to do except for, you know, just rack up money. And, uh, which was, you know, really grateful for me because I managed to, uh, actually save up enough for like a, a, a deposit on a, um, on a home loan. So now I've got a freaking house that uh, has, you know, tenants and stuff in it, which uh, I'm extremely grateful for, you know? So even though I've spent like quite a number of years living as a full hermit and how I used to like beat myself up like mercilessly that I just wasted all these years, da, 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 da. And I did nothing with them. Like looking back at those kind of experiences in my life, with a new lens of gratitude has allowed me to go, wow, I've actually done a lot for myself. I made a lot of right moves for myself and I, and I set myself up for a mindset that is quite, um, you know, that is, that is open and ready to wanting to explore the world, you know, cause everything was new to me. Uh, and still there are so many new things to me that, uh, I'm still exploring uh, ever since, you know, coming out of my shell like two, three, two, three years ago. So it allows me to go like, wow, this is amazing. Like I'm kind of like a kid in a candy store. So yeah, um, I've been able to look back at my hermit life with a, uh, a lot of gratitude and allows me to move forward with a lot of gratitude as well um, for the things I've been able to like achieve in that time. So even if, uh, say, you've experienced a hermit life yourself, you know, um, or lived a life such that you've had certain experiences, I guess you could, if you perceived it as bad, you know, because like good and bad is really just a, a, a matter of perception, right? It's a matter, it's a matter of how you interpret a series of events that have happened in your life. Like I chose for a while to interpret those events as negative. And all it did was just, you know, bring me down and I just beat myself, beat myself up over it. But coming at it with gratitude has allowed me to say, no, I'm actually, I'm actually an all right person. I'm, I'm good enough. Like I'm great. Like I can just move forward with happiness that I went through that phase of my life. I got the things I needed from it. I've learned the lessons I needed to learn from it. And now I can move on as a even uh, bigger and better man. And the same that you can do as well. If you, if you've had things that you've, you know, maybe regretted in your past, how could you look at it from a perspective of gratitude? Maybe it wasn't, you know, not everything was bad in it. It could have been a very, you know, character building moment for you. It could have brought you to exactly where you are right now, right? And so like it, um, so really it, 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 it changed my perspective on life as a whole, I guess. If, if I'm able to have gratitude for a part of my life that I thought was totally wasted, well then I should be able to have gratitude and you know, positive and feel positive about every step of the way then, right? Even in times where things get very, very challenging, what, how can I look at the situation as a way of saying, you know, how is this building me up to be the next best version of myself, to be the next level of myself? So there's always like positive takeaways that you can have from, um, from these kind of situations that you may perceive as bad. Right. So that's the, how it's shaped my perspective, um, on life and gratitude. So yeah, I guess that's the first question. The second question is, why do you think it can be difficult for people to feel grateful for experiences they consider negative or unfortunate? How can we overcome this challenge? So I I guess that perfectly leads into what I was saying just then is, so why is it difficult for uh, people to feel grateful? So why it was difficult for me to feel grateful for it at the time was because I truly believe that 
I was I was pretty much like in a very uh, victim kind of mindset where I believed that, oh, because I lived through this experience or rather I didn't live through, um, you know, certain experiences that I thought were, you know, kind of necessary to keep up with the Joneses, to keep up with everybody else, my social group, my peers and all that. Because I missed out on those experiences, I need some water. I perceived that I was like a victim of of my circumstance, that that's a big stain on my uh, life history that will never change, that is there forever and, you know, will affect me in, in a way that... Uh, I'll never have a normal development as a person, as a human being, socially, you know, romantically, or just mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially, what have you, doesn't matter. But like, if you consider yourself a victim to those, to those circumstances, of course, it'll be hard to feel grateful for it, which is, you know, all the more reason why it is important to try and seek out gratitude in all things. One, it will keep you reminded of all the positive things that you have in life. And two, it will, like having gratitude for, for the negative things will change the mindset from being like, oh, I'm being affected by this thing that has happened. And this, I'm now like forever impacted by it. And I can't move forward on from it, you know, like in, in a positive, in, I can't extract any positive things from it, right? Having, trying to find gratitude from even negative things will change your mindset to a more growth mindset, to a more positive mindset, to, to say, uh, to instantly saying, okay, what are the positive lessons that I can learn from this? such that I can move on to be a better person, to be a stronger person as well. Like that's what I noticed, you know, straight away from me in my personal experiences, like looking back at, in developing the habit of having gratitude for the negative things in life, it's put me in a different mindset whereby rather than being at the effect of, of the things that happened to my life, I'm now the, or, or rather being the victim of the things that happened in my life. I'm now the person that can create things in my life. Moving from the role of the, of the victim to the role of the creator, right? So and then I can ask myself, okay, well, I'm grateful for this negative thing that has happened to me. I'm grateful for X, Y, Z lessons I learned from it. Or I'm grateful for, you know, X, Y, Z um, strengths I've gained from it. What can I create from here? What new version of myself can I create from here? Because if it, because when I was in, I guess that that more victim mindset, it basically the the sentence stopped there. It stopped at, oh, this happened to me. That's it. This happened to me. This happened to me. Woe is me. It, but changing it to gratitude adds in that second bit of like, okay, what can I do with it now? That allows a person to, you know, get hit, stumble down, but then get back up. And that's a much, much, much more empowering way to live life than to be a victim of circumstance. So why people can find it difficult to be grateful for these experiences is because, you know, either they don't know that they can be a creator in, the, in their life. They, they can be, um, they don't have to be a victim of their circumstances or that uh, they're very attached to that role of victim in their lives, that they want to have that uh personal pity party and because i know like i did like i i wanted to have that that whole pity party for myself going like oh yeah you know i, I was such a loser and i you know didn't have all these experiences and oh uh, like the 
in, in feeling shit like that, there was a certain satisfaction. There was a certain uh, satisfaction that, that uh, you know, oh, I can't do anything about it and that I don't need to do anything about it. That I don't need to take responsibility. I guess that's where the uh, personal satisfaction came out of it at that time was that I could avoid the responsibility of having to pick myself up and then move forward from that. It feels good in the moment, but long term, it's just far more damaging. And having, you know, building up more and more and more, you know, oh, woe is me, I'm a victim. It builds up into like this whole victim complex of like, oh, I, I'm, a, I'm a complete bitch and, you know, I can't do anything in my life. Everything sucks. You know, like that's not an empowering way of life. It's not an empowering way to live. So even though it was a little bit challenging at first to go like, oh, shit, well, you know, what can I take, find gratitude in, in, in this painful situation? At the end, it made me into a better person. And it makes everybody else that tries it too into better people because it changes that role from being victim into uh, a creator in life. So yeah, basically uh, that's, that's what I think about that. And the third question, how does embracing gratitude for both positive and negative experiences contribute to personal growth and resilience? I guess I, I already answered that question in a way is that it, yeah, to answer that, it, it changes uh, your mindset from victim into, into a person that creates in their life. That goes, what can I create from here? And uh, how it contributes to personal growth and resilience. Well, if you are not a victim anymore, if you're a person that's like, okay, I can take a punch, but I can get back up. How can I be grateful for this? Like gratitude is an amazing tool for that. And it'll just make you like grow into a happier and happier person. Because the, the, the people that are constant victims, yes, they get the comfort of being able to have the pity party for themselves or even like rope other people into, you know, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a victim, pity me, pity me. Like, yes, they can get that temporary, you know, satisfaction there but they'll forever live as a very miserable kind of person. And like, I've seen it with my own eyes. Like it's, uh, you know, other people get pretty pissed off by it and just don't want to be around that kind of, uh, that kind of energy. And it's just better for your own psyche that, uh, that you don't do that, you know, that you take responsibility for yourself that you take responsibility for your own mind and the way that you think, because that way you can actually live the life that you choose and live, you know, a life of, uh, of true happiness, of true joy and live around other people that are uh, of that same kind of energy of, of happiness and joy. So yeah. And, and with resilience um, and building resilience, like, of course, yeah. If you're not getting knocked down and going, Oh, like, then you'll be able to get back up again and again and again and going, all right, well, I got knocked down, but I'm stronger now and I'm grateful for that. I've learned a lot of lessons. Let's keep moving forward. So that's my answer to that question there. It's important to stay hydrated. <laughs> um, cool. Question four. How can being grateful for negative experiences positively impact our relationships with others? Can it help us empathize and connect on a deeper level? Absolutely. So um, like uh, what I said previously with how I've seen people with like a negative, that negative view on the world that of like, oh, woe is me, that uh, victim uh, mindset. Having great uh, gratitude can definitely impact the relationships with others. You know, ha not having uh, gratitude for those things, if you're in that victim mindset, can impact in a ne negative way where people want to be away from you. Because if you're that person that complains all the time or is just like, woe is me, I'm the victim, people want to stay away from that shit. Like, on 
the only people that you're going to attract are other complainers, other other victims. And, you know, victims tend to like to commune together and gather around together. Uh, whereas people, creators, people that want to create something in their lives that uh, look for positivity, they stay the hell away from from that kind of negativity. Because it just, uh, honestly, it just, uh, it just sticks. Like, I used to hang, like, read a lot of, um, back when my mindset was very different of, like, oh, what was me and very victim-based. And I would be on a lot of these forums online with a lot of uh, people, uh, mostly men, that were very much of a similar victim mindset where, oh, the world is fucked and, you know, uh, I'm fucked and this and that, da, 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 da. Like, I'm a victim, blah, 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 blah. So many things are wrong. And it just honestly attracts more of those kind of people towards each other. And the people that actually want to, you know, get up and go and actually live a life where they are choosing the direction of their life, they see that energy and they're just like, eh, I'm good, thanks. No, thank you. So it's, uh, it's important to have the, like in having that gratitude using that as a tool to build yourself up as a, as a positive person as a positive um you know energy that other positive people want to be around you'll just surround yourself with just better people that won't want to drag you down because um you know with with people like i've noticed in these forums that when somebody tries to like poke their head up and say like, oh, I can do something for myself. Instantly, they just get swamped by, you know, other people that are of just like that. Oh, you can't do it. You can't do it. It's all fucked. Da, 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 da. It's like a very crabs in the bucket mentality. So it's um, if your mind is focused on just negativity, 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 you're going to only attract that. And it's kind of going to be like a like a negative spiral downwards because you're going to be negative. The people around you are going to support you in being negative. And uh, if you're trying to pull yourself up, they're going to try and pull you back down because then it reflects badly on them, right? So, but if you're hanging around other positive people that are like, their mindset are focused on, on positivity, on moving forward and making change and taking responsibility for their lives, they'll, you know, if you're around the right people, of course, they'll want to pick you up and keep you moving forward and say, hey, like, let's move along together. Let's let's move together forward, you know, better and keep making more positivity, right? So life just gets incredibly better, being grateful for that. And I guess also, like, on uh, the question of like, can it help us empathize and connect on a deeper level? Yes, it can. So if like with the, I've noticed that with very, and I noticed this in myself as well. I've noticed that with like victim mindset people is that it's, it's hard for them to empathize and as it was hard for me to empathize with others, um, like, because their, 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 their focus of attention is just all on themselves, all on, on uh, their own problems, right? And... Like for me, it's like, um, like what I've noticed in um, you know in these forums in in myself as well is that when people when other people you know would speak about their problems, like sometimes they would vocalize it, they would speak it out, or you know just even in the back of the head, there would be that voice of, "Oh, you had it so bad. Huh? Take a look at me." Take a look at my problems. 
and that can cause a that disconnect between people so especially if the, if you're um in like a like a partnership in a, like a relationship or you know in a, in a working relationship or in a you know parent child kind of thing what have you having the ability to um to not be in that victim mindset will allow you to be able to go okay cool i have my issues but i can take a look into your issues and take a step into your shoes and, and appreciate what you're going through rather than going oh but these are my problems these are my problems my problems are the most important problems here i need the the pity party on myself i need you to support me i need i need the focus back on me 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 so it can help us have by practicing that gratitude for um the things that we've had in our lives in our personal lives it allows us to go all right cool i've had my problem i don't need to dwell on it i don't need to focus on it i can move past it onto a solution now and now that clears up the the space for me it clears up my capacity to take on well not take on but like to uh to hear out other people's experiences through their problems because i've got my shit already kind of like sorted i can then have capacity to support other people right and in keeping that mindset as well like through practicing on your own it allows you to find help that other person find solutions for themselves uh in their own issues right so if i'm like you know listening to a person with uh you know bringing up some sort of problem or something that's happened to them because i've practiced finding you know gratitude and finding uh, the positivity out of a negative situation it allows me to you know spot out the things that they could find gratitude or positivity from in their situation and also to find possible solutions because it's a whole like change shift of mindset it's not like oh we're going to be victims together you know i can't solve my my bullshit therefore i can't help support you in your helping your bullshit so we're just going to have a bullshit party together here you can actually hear the person out empathize with what they're going through and then say hey i can see this this and this and this you might not be able to see it right now but there's this possible thing that you can be grateful for here you've got this out of it you learned this out from it here's how we can move forward and because you practice that in your own life it's much more effective in you know helping out other people in their lives as well so long as they of his course you know don't play the victim mindset right so it can definitely help to empathize and connect on that that really deep way because you can tr- you you clear up the capacity to see other people rather than just looking at yourself internally me 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 so um that's yeah that's the importance of of gratitude there um for you know if if you're able to solve your own like not you know to solve and to to you know resolve and move through your own issues you then have the ability to hear out and connect and to listen to others using the similar tools so question 5 and this is going to be the last question can you discuss the connection between gratitude and our overall well-being how does it affect our mental and emotional health so yeah so with gratitude as i mentioned before uh having that mindset that mindset shift through the practice of gratitude that mindset shift from victim to creator instantly makes things like so much better because now it puts you in the in the driver seat of life now you're not like a a leaf blowing in the wind you're now 
saying, oh, okay, I can now choose the appropriate outcome of my life. And by practicing that on a smaller scale, but frequently, with enough practice, you can take that up to higher and higher and higher levels of your life. To uh, if, if you can have gratitude over small things, you can then have the ability to have gratitude for the bigger things in life. Say, for example, um, you know, if, if you're grateful for, if you practice gratitude uh, and, and finding the good in situations that, you know, just might inconvenience you, whatever, or, um, you know, and you've got the practice in finding gratitude and the positive in situations that have really, you know, fucked you up before, but you're now moving from, uh, on from it. You're now in the driver's, you're now positioning yourself in the driver's seat such that you can truly like control the direction of your life. Because un unfortunately for the victims in life that don't choose the direction of their life, they're the ones that truly, truly suffer. And that affects their mental and emotional health, of course. Like, for example, the people that, you know, refuse to take responsibility for, um, I guess, the type of work that they do or the the people that uh, that they get into relationships with, you know, friendships or um, or marriages or what, what have you. If they go, oh, I'm a victim of circumstance, I'm a victim of circumstance, it's like you're in this whirlpool of, you know, shit occurrences, just hoping for a good thing to happen. And just letting, you know, fortune dictate whether you're going to have a good day or a bad day. Or a good life or a bad life, you know? And if you're just sitting there hoping, 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 and things don't go your way, that's a and you're feeling powerless to do anything about it, that is a truly depressing spot to be in. So it can really, really, like being in that victim mindset where you don't have, like, gratitude, where, where you don't, where you can't appreciate the, the negative things that have happened to you, being in that victim mindset, saying that I'm the victim of circumstance, expands out into the rest of your life. Of like, oh, I'm I'm a I'm stuck in this job and I can't do anything and I'm gonna just continue suffering for it because like that's what I did as well. It's like I was uh, in a job that I, I I didn't really like, and it just was you know it was bugging me, and I and I truly believed I truly 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 believed that that was my lot in life, and that I will live and die this kind of life, of living in my room just secluded away. Uh, working a job that I didn't that I didn't enjoy back then, and that was a truly depressive spot that I was in, and it sucked. It 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 was like a ongoing low level pain that just uh and in in trying to numb that out and trying to numb out that ongoing you know low level pain of of being a victim. It numbed out the happiness in my life as well. It numbed out everything else. Because you can't really numb one type of emotion. You, you, you can only just numb everything. So life as a whole just kind of squashed into like this tiny little dot. Into this, uh, into this small existence that was just just pain really. So... Being in that victim mindset will help to just make life a lot more depressing, basically. But practicing, you know, being in the driver's seat, making the choices for yourself, living a life that you choose, living a life of your own direction, living a life where you take responsibility for, although it may be more work, although it may be more temporary pain, long-lasting, there is much more um, satisfaction. A deep, deep, deep level, like in the core, in your soul, in your, in your spirit, kind of satisfaction for life. Because you know that you're living a life that you choose.
and that you have the power, that you are empowered to make the choices to direct the life that you want. So that's the power of, like, that's how it can affect us mentally and emotionally by practicing being in the driver's seat of life through the power of having gratitude. And when I'm saying expressing, when I actually expressing gratitude, I don't just mean have like a mindset of just like, oh, this, it, it's not, it's not like denying the bad things have happened to you in your life and going like, oh yeah, I'm so grateful for only the good things in life. And, uh, and that's it. It's no, like sometimes bad shit does happen. Sometimes, you know, you may get health issues and it just feels fucking terrible. Or you may have, uh, you know, somebody in your family that dies or, you know, you may lose your money or what have you. Like terrible shit actually can happen. And I'm not saying just to ignore it. I'm saying that you will have to take responsibility for it. And in taking responsibility for it, it keeps you in that driver's seat of life. It keeps you from being that leaf in the wind that gets just fucked over by everything, incapable of doing anything in, in response. If like these things that these really bad things in life that happen, like these negative things that they 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 can and do and will happen in, in your life, just as it will happen in my life. But the important thing is to to sit with them and fully process them. If, for example, like you've gone through a breakup or something, and it, it fucking hurts, right? It's important to fully feel those emotions that come up to sit with them, to sit next to that fire. Because it will hurt. But if you have the strength and the ability to say, all right, I'm choosing to be in the driver's seat here. I'm choosing to take responsibility for my emotions here and sitting next to them. One, you'll actually process them and allow those emotions to pass through you to resolve themselves in, in fully feeling them. And two, you'll build yourself up to be a stronger person. Such that, you know, if you've gone through such a difficult exercise like this and process those like hardcore emotions, the next small thing that comes along is not going to bother you. It's going to be like, that's just whatever. I've already gone through this big, massive thing. You know, like sometimes people from uh, war veterans, they came, they come back from war. And, you know, after be dealing with, you know, being shot at and, you know, having to run away from like, you know, driving through fields and, uh, and, and roads where there could be potential bombs any anywhere, they come back to regular civilian life and they go, I don't understand what the fuck I was complaining about the whole time. There's literally no problems around. Because they've dealt with much bigger things. And they process that. So, in... So I'm not saying just to have... Use gratitude as like some sort of, you know, band-aid for all your problems going forward of going like, oh, I'm so grat grateful for all these things. No, it, it you have to still feel into whatever shitty emotions pop up because that's part of the processing. And once you've processed them, have gratitude for the things that you've learned, for the strengths that you've gained. Because that keeps you in the driver's seat to keep moving, to keep choosing the direction of your life, which will ultimately end with you feeling, with you being an empowered person living a truly more satisfying and happier life. So that's the power of practicing gratitude. And one of the things, one of the exercises that you can do going forward is 
having a um, is just practicing in your head, you know, throughout the day, just going, wow, I'm grateful for, you know, I'm grateful for my phone. It gives me access to, you know, so much information online at any time. It allows me to call people. I'm grateful for my my microphone here. It allows me to produce videos with, you know, clear sounding audio for you guys. Having gratitude for like the small things repeatedly over and over and over again. Even small things that we don't notice every day, like I'm grateful for electricity. I'm grateful for the running water. It'll keep you as a happier person overall. Right? Practicing that, and especially writing it down into a book, you can do like a gratitude journal of like, you know, at the start or end of the day, you know, three things that I was grateful for for today that happened to me today. I was grateful for, um, you know, getting to work on time, grateful for um, having a, you know, a nourishing lunch and grateful for, you know, the people that I spoke to today, something like that. That's a, an excellent practice that you can take away from this, from this video, from, uh, from me talking here. You can practice gratitude journaling and, uh, and just gratitude thinking as well. It can be a whole mindset of going like, oh yeah, I take notice of the small things that I'm grateful for. Because if you can't, if you can't take, have gratitude for the small things in life, it's harder to have gratitude for the big things in life. Right. It, it's a, it, let me put that another way. If you have gratitude for like the smallest of things, right? It's far. You will get so much more satisfaction out of the bigger things in life. You'll have so much satisfaction and grat uh, gratitude for the the when the big things do come along in your life. Say like lots of money or a house or this and that. Da 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 da. If you're able to have gratitude for I don't know, like for the the street lamps outside that light up, uh, you know, that light up the, the the pathways out there when you're taking a walk, you know, when you're going on your evening walks or something like that. I don't know. Just having gratitude for like, you know, the giant water bottle here. It keeps the water here for me so I can drink and stay hydrated. Like having gratitude for these things, practicing that kind of mindset. And also using a gratitude journal is, is a way of going forward. And also expressing to others what you're grateful for as well. Say if you have like a spouse or something something like that, and just going like, wow, I'm I'm grateful for you know what you've what you've done for me today. I'm grateful for you, I don't know, doing the yard work, or I'm grateful for you um, for putting so much effort into looking beautiful today or something like that. That's, that's a beautiful way to, to connect to other people and to let them know that, uh, that they're appreciated or I'm grateful for, you know, you understanding that I'm going through a tough situation right now that I'm working through, you know, just things like that can truly light up another person's day and, 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 and allow you to have, uh, a deeper relationship with that person. You go like, wow, like actually, yeah, that person has made a big impact on my life. I'm grateful for, you know, that they intervened uh, when I had a, you know, big breakdown at some stage of my life, or I'm grateful that uh, they've shown me another aspect of myself or what, what have you. Having gratitude for other people is, a, is an amazing way to uh, build and to keep and to maintain relationships and allows the other person to not only feel absolutely fucking amazing, but also they, um, they can deepen their relationship to you as well because they, they understand that they feel they're seen that you truly see them and they will want to re return the same piece of positivity back to you. And, you know, if you believe in karma, um, you know, if you keep spreading out positivity, you know, goodness and greatness to the world, you know, just even in little bits, but con consistently, 
as part of your character, as part of your being, good things will eventually come back your way. So this is like gratitude is, I guess, extends to more than just like a little practice or it becomes like a full mindset. It becomes like a full way of life. It becomes a full mode of being where, you know, the more that you increase it, the better the life can be. So I leave you with a question today of what are three things that you're grateful for? And if you want, you can leave them in the comments or, you know, you can write them into your journal or even just speak them to yourself or hell, you can even be speaking to a mirror and say three things that you're grateful about yourself, about your body, about your mind, about your past, about the negative experiences that you've been through. So I think that's the end of the video there. I'm very grateful for this video. I'm grateful for this experience. I'm grateful for ChatGPT. So, I'm, and I'm grateful for the people that are watching this. So thank you all. I uh, appreciate you all watching this. And if you stuck to the end, of this uh, 51, 52 minute long video. I'm very grateful to you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And have an amazing day. Bye.